the Ledger Nano S wallet. It's telling us that this device has to be configured as a new, so I'm gonna select the check mark with that button. So now we're gonna choose the pin. I'm gonna press both buttons down, and I'm gonna enter in a pin code. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four for this demo. Okay, so now it wants me to confirm my pin. So now it's going to cycle through 24 words or, that I'm gonna write down. So I'm gonna select both buttons, and it's going to show me the first word and then an arrow for me to cycle through all 24 words. So I'm going to go on ahead and write that down on their backup passphrase. The ledger is going to actually have us enter in all those 24 words um, once we're done backing them up. With the previous firmware, they uh, I, I believe it was three or four of those 24 they would pick, but now it's all 24. So I'm going to go on ahead and write down this backup. So I've gone on ahead and written down all 24 words. If you want to double check before moving on to the next step, you can you know, cycle back through any one of them. It tells you the word number and the word. So once we're done, okay, so now it wants me to confirm all 24 of those again. So double press, and now it wants me to confirm word number one. Word number one was uphold, so I'm going to scroll until I see the word uphold. So once I find that word for confirm word number one, I'm gonna press both buttons. So now it wants me to confirm word number two, and I'm gonna repeat this step another 23 times. Once I enter them all in, it's now going to process and tell me that device is ready. Device is now ready for use. Now there, with the Ledger app, you actually have to put a version of uh, their wallet app on the device itself and the ledger manager is what you use to do that. So right now it's, it's got no, um, no wallet. So we're gonna select, uh, so we can select Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. The latest uh, firmware update allows for there to be more wallets on this device before it runs out of memory because it's using common libraries between wallets like say Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and Dash use a lot of similar code. Uh, so they were able to make it so you can fit more on here and JJ let's select uh, Bitcoin right at the top and hit the down arrow it's going to ask me on the device do I want to install apps I only need to confirm this one time per session so now it's installing Bitcoin and you can now see on the device it's processing and now you see a B for Bitcoin uh, so if we wanted to do others we would just go on and, and load the rest there are, are some settings that you can you can do on the device. You can have it so that when you uh, plug it in, it doesn't default the pin number to five. It randomizes each one. So it, it just puts more randomization. You can pick more than four characters for a pin, up to eight, uh, you know, change the display. And, um, and that's the setup of the Ledger Nano S. A, a bit tedious with having to re-enter those 24 words but I'm glad that it forces you to do that because if you enter those 24 words in, and they're correct, then you know that your backup phrase is correct. So let's go on ahead to the website and then to the uh, apps. So what we're gonna do is, is, is something similar. We're going to go on ahead and receive some ether and, and send some ether. So we're going to select the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Now, one thing to note about um, the Ledger and uh, Ethereum is you can use their Chrome app or you can use my Ether wallet. So we're going to demo uh, both. So we're going to do a receive with the Ledger wallet that's on the Chrome web store, and then we'll do a send uh, using my Ether wallet. So now it, when, when we go into the Chrome app, it's gonna ask us to connect the Ledger, and then it's gonna prompt for the, the pin number. So that's one, two, three, four. You cycle up and down with the two buttons, and then to make a button press, you select both of them together. And then when we're done, we, we, can, so we can press both to enter in our pin. So with the ledger, we need to now select on the actual device itself what coin we want to interact with. So I'm gonna go over and select Ethereum. Okay, so now the ledger app wants to know do we want Ethereum Classic or Ethereum? So we're gonna pick Ethereum and remember this choice. So now we're gonna go on ahead and Go to the down arrow so we can receive some funds. Okay, so there's our address. Boom. And now we have some Ethereum in this address. 
Now to go on ahead and spend, it would be to select the up arrow. And, and we can then uh, enter the amount. We can click on the camera button at the bottom. It would use your laptop's camera or your desktop's webcam. But we actually want to show how to uh, send using my Ether wallet. So for the Trezor and the Ledger, um, they can interface with Ethereum and ERC20 Ethereum tokens using myetherwallet.com. Um, so the way we use that is we go to the Send Ether up above, and it's then going to ask how we want to access the wallet and what type of wallet we have. So we're going to select the Ledger wallet. All right, so now I'm going to connect the Ledger wallet, and I'm going to enter in the PIN code again. Now, in order to access it, we again have to go to the Ethereum app on the Ledger device itself. But we actually need to make a change here. Um, by default, the app has browser support set to off because it's using it. Uh, it's using the Ledger's uh, Chrome app. But if we want to use my Ether wallet, we have to go into settings for the Ethereum wallet, and we have to put browser support on yes. And now we can access it. So we're going to select the top address, and you can see that we have the balance uh, of what we sent a few minutes ago. So then we're going to click on unlock the wallet. And now we're in to our address. So on the account address on the right, that's the Ethereum address. If you had any tokens associated to this address, you can um, view it here as well. Um, down below, there's token balances. Uh, so to send, we're going to put in uh, the Neocash donation address. It's a fine address. It's a fine address. So um, we're going to send the entire balance, 50 cents worth. And then we're going to generate a transaction. So now on the ledger device, it's going to show the amount and the address. Um, because it can't fit the entire address, it's going to scroll that address. So you should confirm that this is the address that you want to send it to. And if you agree, you're gonna, I'm going to click on this button here with the check mark. And you can see now um, it's the raw transaction on the left is what it sent to the ledger. The ledger then signed that with the private key and the signed transaction that needs to be broadcast for this uh, transaction to go through is what's on the right. So now we're going to click on the send transaction and it's going to be broadcast uh, to the Ethereum network. Here is the last place you have on whether to abort or not. Um, so we're going to say yes. And the transaction's gone through. And with my Ether wallet, you can view the transaction status. The Ledger Nano S has their own Chrome wallet apps for Ripple, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, with the latter two using the Bitcoin Chrome app, as well as the ability to use online wallets like My Ether Wallet. Mm -hmm.